Wise men say that the prostate gland is a man's second heart. Decades ago, doctors would say that every other man has prostate problems after the age of 40. Ten years ago, the same doctors would state that every other man had prostate problems after the age of 30. And now the statistics is such that at least 30% of all 20-year-olds have prostate problems. This data indicates that prostate issues are on the rise big time. If left untreated, prostate problems lead to serious relationship problems, infertility, and prostate cancer, as well as erectile dysfunction and impotence. Most women consider prostate issues to be men's problems. But let us talk about what happens when a man ejaculates inside the woman at the end of the intercourse. The portion of the sperm contains prostate juices. When the man has prostate problems, and when his prostate gland is enlarged and inflamed, the semen also contains millions of bacteria and pus. This is what gets into the woman's vaginal canal, penetrating further into the uterus. It can even travel to her bladder and kidneys. Some cultures teach their women to wash up or rinse after sex. However, most women would just put their underwear back on and walk around all day. Even if using clean underwear, they quickly become infected with pus and bacteria from the semen. This can lead to female organs inflammation such as bladder infection, cystitis, and so on. If the bladder infection is left untreated, it causes further problems with the kidneys. And now you see how prostate problems are not just men's problems, they're also women's problems. Men usually are reluctant to have their prostate issues treated, and they want to wait a long time until it becomes unbearable. And in the meantime, their women keep getting infected during intercourse. That's why it is wise to use condoms. As you might have noticed, the conventional medical profession has become a lucrative business that is not interested in permanently treating a disease, but rather turning it into a chronic condition. They are only interested in turning people into their permanent patients for life. If you happen to have an acute case of prostatitis, which is swelling and inflammation of the prostate gland, the medical profession usually turns it into a chronic phase. A urologist might give you a prostate massage for a few seconds to up to one minute at best. This would be very costly considering this approach would require 10 to 15 visits to such a therapist. While this might relieve the prostate symptoms, after some time you'd be back for the next round of treatments and this becomes a vicious cycle for life. Please know that there are much more reasonable solutions out there and I will talk to you about those in this video. So prostatitis is swelling and inflammation of the prostate gland. It results from stagnating blood in the area. To alleviate the situation, extra fluids that cause the swelling need to be drained from the area. If this is not done promptly, it can turn into inflammation with mucus. No pills will be able to resolve such inflammation. So what do you do? Prostatitis needs holistic approach, using all possible remedies available. Anal prostate massage is very effective to treat prostatitis. Get a pair of medical gloves and a bottle of pumpkin seed oil. You also might want to use an enema to clean the rectum before the procedure. The man is then advised to get on his hands and knees so that his partner could access him from behind for this massage. The female is advised to put some pumpkin seed oil on her finger wearing the glove as well as inside the man's rectum. When you insert your finger anally, 
you will come across a walnut-sized gland which is located on the side of the stomach. This is the prostate gland. Make sure you memorize the size of the gland so that you could later compare it to the size following the massage. If you are consistent with these massages, you will notice how the prostate size shrinks. You will also notice fluid dripping from the tip of the penis. If the fluid is whitish in color, it would mean that the prostate is inflamed with mucus. If the fluid is clear, it is the result of congestion or stagnation. When you are just getting started, the prostate massage needs to last about 3 minutes and be very gentle. Massage duration pressure can be increased day by day. Beginning day 5 and 6, you can give the massage twice a day. Good massage duration is 7 to 8 minutes, even up to 10 minutes. If you are consistent with these prostate massages, you might notice that the, the guy is having a morning erection as well as increased libido, even in older men, let alone younger men. I advise you to continue the prostate massage for 2 to 3 weeks on a daily basis. Keep doing the prostate massages till the fluid coming out of the tip of the penis is completely clear. It might take you at least a month if the inflammation has mucus and bacteria in it. It would be a good practice to take a week out of every month to perform these massages for prevention. What else can be done to prevent prostate problems? Give up smoking and alcohol consumption. Both of these activities suppress male hormone production and male libido. Smoking and alcohol are also detrimental for testicle health. It leads to pelvic area congestion, which further leads to prostate problems. Playing sports, doing yoga and all other kinds of activities are all good ideas to keep your prostate in good health.